Hey everybody, Big Paulie back here for another video. Uh, today's Force Friday, which can only mean one thing. Take me to those Star Wars toys. <laughs> In a little while, um, I'm going to head out. Um, I'm going to go and get some breakfast first. I've just had the new Sky Q system installed, both upstairs in the back bedroom and downstairs. So I'm still trying to learn how to bloody use it. Uh, got a couple of little problems with it connection wise. Can only get 1080p uh, through my 4K TV. And for some reason it won't select 4K. So I think I need to get a new cable. I think it's HDCM 2.2 or something like that. So I think I need to upgrade and get a new cable for the skybox directly into uh, the TV. Uh, and upstairs um, I've got an Optima HD 141X projector. 1080p projector which is connected through a Denon, Denon amp uh, the 22200 model I think it is uh, and then which is connected to the mini sky mini box um, and that's only coming up as 1080i instead of 1080p although it says 1080i and then in brackets p so I don't know if it's 1080i or 1080p anyway this is a lot of waffling so I'll sort that out later on. Um, as I say, um, I'm gonna head off and get some breakfast first because I'm gonna be all over the place today. Um, so I'll pop up to Fartheringley Farm, have a lovely traditional English breakfast. My first in a month or, no, a couple of months actually. So that'd be nice. Um, and then I'm gonna head off to Ashford to Toy Shop Smith's, see what Star Wars stuff they've got there. Uh, and then I need to pop up to Lulu's, uh, drop off a couple of bits, over to Rochester, to Toys R Us, see what they've got there, and then maybe pop into Blue Water as well, uh, to the Disney store. So hopefully we'll get some good footage, some good Star Wars footage today, and we can see all the selections and everything that's available. Um, I want to get my hands on a Porg. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't care what kind of Porg it is, whether it's a mug, um, uh, one of those bobblehead things, fluffy thing, I don't care what it is. I don't know what the fascination is, but um, I hope these aren't going to turn into the next bloody Jar Jars and everybody's going to regret it. I mean, it is a bit out of the place. <sighs> when I first saw the design, a bird, a little bird in a Star Wars film. But obviously they're going to have their own character and they're going to be hopefully memorable. Um, and there's even a book coming out in December called Chewbacca and the Porgs. So I think they're hoping that everybody's going to fall in love with the little Porgs. So I'm just going to get me Porg stuff. And, uh, do you know, this is a really weird conversation, talking about Porgs. So anyway, let's get the hell on the road uh, and get this movable feast going. So I'll see you in a little while from uh, the breakfast. Um, and then we'll head off to Ashford to Smith's Toy Shop. So see you in a bit. Well, that was a load of bollocks. Got into Smith's Toys, no Last Jedi stuff. It's nearly midday. 
on the Friday. So I asked the bloke, they might have a few stuff upstairs, but they haven't had, they haven't had a chance to put it out yet. What a load of fucking bollocks. So um, as I was talking to him, this bloke wheeled this big crate down and took the top off and there was a load of stuff underneath it. Um, well, not a load of stuff, you know, a couple of figures, a lightsaber, that was about it. Um, and I was trying going to go and have a look through it. And he goes, oh, we haven't priced it all up yet, so we'll we'll put it out on the shelf sometime over the weekend. Fuck you, mate. I want my fucking Star Wars stuff now. <laughs> so, um, bollocks to that. Smith's Toys. Up yours, arseholes. Let's go to a proper toy shop. Toys are us. I'm sure we're going to get a beautiful display there. If they can't be asked to put the stuff out, then fuck them. Let's go to Toys R Us. Oh, oh wow, that's a big display. I knew they'd have shitloads in here. Oh wow, oh my god, I thought they might have cleared a lot of the shelves after midnight, but no. Crap, there's loads. Oh, hello, I'm being spied on you. <laughs> Ouch. Back her off, BB-8. I'm trying to look at the toy. Oh, wow, look at that. There's a load of Lego stuff. BB-8 Lego. Oh, there's the new, uh, the, well, the attack. What is it? Oh my god, Porg! Porg! Porg alert! Was it an interactive one? Oh, he's a bit fairy. Oh my god, look at them on the back there. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's that. I love that. Holy crap. What'd you do? Oh, I think... Nah. Oh my god, look at them. <gasps> Oh, that looks really good. No? Oh, I think you touch her. St I think you touch her stomach. Let's have a look. See what else there is. Oh, we've got okay. A lot of Funko pops. And there's the the new BB9E. Um, I think this well, this looks like an Imperial version of um, of BB8. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, Supreme Leader Snoke. Oh, that looks pretty good. I like his uh, his gold well, dressing gown. <laughs> looks like he's getting ready for bed. Oh my god. Two porgs in one day. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. I'm going porg mad. What's the matter with me? What have we actually got up here? Um, Poe. Luke. Thank you, Luke. Oh, yes, yeah, a new Luke. The old bearded Luke. You sure that's Luke or is that George Lucas? There's got quite a lot. I wonder if they've restocked after midnight because the lady said they had shitloads of people there last night. And uh, Finn in his um, like an imperial outfit. Uh, what press and shape? No. Okay. Oh, that looks like a really mean Kylo, that does. $39.99. I noticed the uh, the Porgs there. It's, what is it? $49.99. Uh, I want Porg, but I don't know if I want to spend that much on a Porg. Uh, we've got uh, a Poe helmet. I don't think it'll fit over my head, but it uh, looks pretty good. Oh, here we go, here we go with some of the, uh, the three and three quarter figures, so. Uh, we've got the lady there with her new hair. Oh, yeah. General uh, Hux. And C-3PO with his normal arm back. And we've got Finn. Kylo Ren. He's cut Chewbacca. Oh, 
Chewbacca and a Paul. Oh, well, that's going to be a thing for the future now, isn't it? Chewbacca's always going to be followed by these little balls. And this is one of the new characters. Is this Paige? Yeah, this is Paige. I think this is Rose's sister. And we've got a Stormtrooper. Uh, what else we've got? Oh, yeah, there we go, Rose. I like the outfit she's got there, so that's pretty good. And loads of BB-8s, little soft toys. They have got quite a lot in here. And yeah, that's pretty good. And they've only got one of these left. Uh, so that's Praetorian Guard and Ray in the same package. That must be a popular one then, it's the only one left on the shelf. Um, and we've got the Black Series there. And uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. I'm not collecting the uh, the Black Series. I have been collecting the Elite Series, though, uh, from the Disney Store. So hopefully we'll find some of them today up at the uh, the Disney Store in Blue Water. Yes, there's quite a lot of the Black Series there. And Ray. There's only a couple of these left, I think. Oh, no, they look like they must have restocked. Either that or not sold many. I would imagine the shelves to be a little bit more empty, so I think they have restocked this morning. And the staff there, Ray staff. Other little fluffies, we've got Chewbacca there and R2 and Yoda. And some furry Chewbacca's. He's cute. And a larger one down here. Jesus, the size of his head. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as big as his body. And what else we got? So here's the uh, the new walker, um, which is supposed to be bigger than the at at. It's got some weird name at M was it M six or something? And uh, the jacks figures. Uh, which I collect, as you can see at home. So we've got the Praetorian, uh, Praetorian, is it? Praetorian Guard. Looks a bit of a new version of like the um, the Emperor's Royal Guards. The same, you know, the same type of red. That go well in the back bedroom actually, with all that red in there. Plus also uh, the new Ray. Yeah, the big figs by Jack Specific. So there's the Ray with the new hairstyle. And a Stormtrooper there. And the new Kylo Ren version. I probably won't get the Kylo one. I mean, I've already got a Kylo one. It's just a bit of a change in the outfit. Pretty good. I've just come out of Toys R Us. I was very impressed with the selection that they got in there. Uh, I think they must have restocked after last night because um, I was speaking to the lady in there and she said it was one hell of a night and they had queues out the door um i'm a bit piff, pissed that i couldn't go but it's one of those things but at least they managed to have the stock to actually restock today unlike smith's toys who haven't even put the stock out so i did pick up a few things um which i'm going to show you at the end of the video uh but now we're going to head off to the disney store at Blue Water, and that Disney store stocks shitloads of Star Wars stuff, and I'm expecting really good things there. So we can find all collectibles and Disney store exclusives. So gonna get on the road now, um, and I'll see you at the Disney store. See you in a minute. Oh, this have a look. Oh yeah, that's a um, big stormtrooper they have there. They have that they're here all the time. Uh, oh, some elite figures. Really? Oh, Ray. That's a, that's a good pose, that one. And the, uh, the Praetorian Guard. Praetorian, Praetorian. I'm going to say that right one day. I'm sure it's Praetorian. That's very glossy, that one. And... First Order Judicial Stormtrooper. I think this is the one they're calling the Executioner. With the black bits. 
one else we've got. There's not many actually, there's only about three or four ports there. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a good display. That's got all the figures in. Deluxe figurine set. I think it's probably about 30 pounds. Slope back at the back there. Yeah, that's quite a good one. They did the set. They have a similar one with the uh, Force Awakens. Oh, look what we've got here. The clones. Some kind of book. Notepad. Oh yeah. Oh, that's quite a good picture. Oh, yeah, light up. Ooh. And there's the, uh, the new air tag again. There's quite a few people here today as well. And what we've got here, we've got a giant BB-8. I suppose repackaged. That's quite a big one, that one. One of these uh, interactive ones. An R2 there and uh, a Yoda as well. Disney Store exclusive. Usual uh, lightsabers and everything. Uh, a few more of the Elite series. Uh, we've got R2 there. It's got some good weathering effect on it. That looks pretty good, that does. It's one of the better looking ones. Plus, also, uh, yeah, there's Ray again. Although, I don't look like they've got the whole selection of the, uh, the Elite figures. And there's uh, a couple of figures we had uh, in the other store. Plus a little display over here, and a couple of the, uh, the outfits. There's Ray there and Kylo. Uh, you can create some kind of thing there, I don't know what it is. But uh, some interactive ones, R2 and BB-8. And the new one, BB-90. Uh, I think this is probably like the Sphero ones. <gasps> oh man! Oh look how cute he is! While we're here, we're going to top it. Uh, we're going to pop into the other toy store where they got the entertainer. Let's see what they've got in there. Well, they haven't got a lot of uh, Force Awakens stuff, but they've got some big figs. Uh, this one's quite a big figure, but these two, I mean, this is ridiculous. I look, a hundred pounds. But if you see now, how big it is. Look, compared with my hand, and you know my hand ain't small. <laughs> my God, look at the size of that. Look at the size of the lightsaber in my hand. That's a whopper, that's a door stopper. Wow, just come out of the Disney store. That was noisy, very noisy in there. Um, I suppose I should have expected it still be in the summer holidays. The schools, uh, the schools are still out uh, until next week. So um, there's kids everywhere and I suppose they know Star Wars stuff comes out today. But yeah, oh, it's quite warm in there as well. So um, I think that's our little Star Wars shop. Um, we've been to the places that I wanted to go. I did pick up some other stuff as well in the Disney store. So I've got a nice little bundle. So I'm going to show you that when I get home. First of all, I'm going to have a drink. Dying for a drink. So yeah, well, I checked with the Disney store and um, they didn't open at midnight last night, I suppose, because they're in a shopping complex, a shopping centre. It means that the whole thing would have to open at midnight. Uh, so he told me the, I think the only ones in Europe that opened were Oxford Street in London. Uh, pa there's one in pa Champs-Élysées in Paris and maybe Milan. So there's only a few handful ones that opened. So um, it's a shame I couldn't go to the London opening one. Uh, it's all about transport and getting back. And you know the trains stop after a certain time, after like one o'clock. Um, and in 2015 when they did the, the Force Awakens midnight showing. Um, both John Boyega and, and um, Daisy Ridley appeared and started meeting people and signing stuff. So that, that would have been good. I'd, I don't think anybody was there last night though at the Oxford Street one, but um, anyway, that's enough of that waffling. So yeah, I'm gonna head home now. So um, I'll see you at home uh, and I'll show you what I picked up today, which I'm very pleased with. Hey everyone. So we're back from the shopping. Um, I'm going to show you what I got, uh, which I mainly got from Toys R Us and Disney Store. Did I get anything from Smith's? So as they had a few things left over from midnight at Toys R Us, um, they gave me a nice t-shirt, The Last Jedi. And, and on the sleeve there, on the arm, it's a Star Wars Force Friday 2. 
and on the other side Toys of Us that's very nice uh, I think they only had a two they only had a few sizes this is a large so I can see this going over my leg <laughs> but at least it's a nice little collectible that I got when I went out shopping so that's that uh, also as a giveaway uh, Russell Russell they were also giving away posters so I've got a free poster which is a Toys R Us poster you see that that's very nice isn't it you've got the uh, Toys R Us logo down the bottom there and Star Wars The Last Jedi that's really nice so I think I'm gonna to have to find a frame for that one so that's very nice and it didn't look like they had a few um, many of these left so they must have got rid of a load during the night especially the t-shirts there wasn't very many t-shirts left okay next up uh, which is what I got from Toys R Us oh let's scoot a little bit closer now I don't collect what are they called Funko Pops I don't collect them um, there are quite a few nice ones out there but there's so many of them so no I don't collect a lot of them but I did have to get this one <laughs> it's my first pork look at that see this is number 100 and 198 crikey does that mean like there's well, I suppose 197 others out there oh. but yeah um, so I might take him out of the packaging stick him up on the shelf or something but uh, I told you I was going to get something to do with Paul so that's that so I've got that in Toys R Us um, also in Toys R Us I got a big figure which is part of the Jack's Pacific range uh, and that is a 18 inch uh, Praetorian Guard as you can see I'll get in there close for you look at that lot nice someone's tinging me in the background look at that it kind of reminds me of the Emperor's Guard um, in Return of the Jedi same type of red it looks a bit weird but uh, yeah there we go so, and as you can see under here he's got some black shirt uh, shirts uh, black trousers or black pants as I say in America so there we go so that's the Praetorian Guard they did have a Ray one as well but um, I only wanted to pick up this one because I've got a Ray one uh, then we headed off to the Disney store um, where I picked up be with you what the fuck is going on <laughs> flap 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 he's so cute and adorable and there's the little logo what is going on with Disney this is going to be a, in a Star Wars film people did people ever accept Ewoks? Not as not as seriously as most people thought so. They were sort of like laughed at as like mini Chewbacca's, but I liked the Ewoks, but um, a lot of people thought they were a bit misplaced. And then of course along came Jar Jar and people thought, what the fuck is going on with George Lucas? What the hell is going on with Disney? <laughs> I'm sure all will become clear in December. I just hope this doesn't turn into the next Jar Jar and um, we all leave the screening of The Last Jedi thinking, fuck me, I want my money back. <laughs> but no, no, I'm sure it'll be really good. So he's cute anyway, so he's going to probably sit up there on the shelf when I do my videos and we can just admire him for the next couple of months 
Oh dear me, Paul, buying stuffed toys from the Disney store, how old are you? Anyway, uh, let's go on to our last piece, uh, which I also bought from the Disney store, and they gave me a nice little Mickey mini box uh, to keep it in. Lots of Mickey paper. You taking the mic? And out she comes. And then I decided to get, if this is not too rustly, I decided to get a mug. Um, because I said I was going to get a, a pork or two. Let's rip that out. <laughs> We're all porked out. Look at that. I don't know if to drink out of this or just to stick it up on the shelf. But yeah, maybe you'll sit in it. So I've got, I bought three Porg stuff and I haven't even seen the character on the screen yet. What are you doing, Paul? So anyway, I'm sure that everything's gonna turn out well. Well, fucking hope it will. So that's that. Um, and also, they gave me a nice bag as well. A nice Last Jedi bag, so. You can see all the characters on there and if I just flip that band it's a huge lenticular as well on the other side I've got the exactly this uh, similar type one for uh, the Force Awakens back in 2015 so I've got the the, uh, the collection there so that's nice so that's it so um, I hope you enjoyed my little shopping trip out there and had a bit of fun and a bit of laugh um, I'm going off to check to see if I need to be administered into a some kind of asylum um, because either this is going to be the greatest thing that ever lived or I'm off my fucking rocker <laughs> oh god so anyway if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the <laughs> next video should we see him on the next video yes paulo oh, i'll never be a ventriloquist 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 will i <laughs>